Hey everyone, welcome to my random ass plush collection. Yay! These aren't in any order at all. And they're weird. First off, I have this random freaking shite. Nope, no. Shirley Brown or Charlie Brown. It's, it's really weird. I have no clue. Um, yeah. Also, next, I have this random Donkey Kong that lost his tie in the last battle, which never happened. Next is this um, Cuphead. Not tieless because he doesn't have one. Also, this bootleg Sonic X Japanese import garbage Sonic plush Ugh. that I thought was like the best thing ever young as a kid. And now I have this stupid dumb emoji thing. It has feet! No one likes feet. Oh, here we go, something good. Next, I have this, um, Tony or Tommy means Sonic the Hedgehog um, plush. Oh, let's do it. Next is this thing that millennials have, or however you say it. It's a Dendi plush. That's just a thing that happens. Oh, there's gonna be a lot, a lot of these. There's this hatless Mario. He looks as old, but he's recent. Next is this. I think his name is Whisper from Yokai Watch. You know that weird game that's like Pokemon, but not. Grip. Here's this freaking cut the rope guy. I don't know if you can actually see that. Yeah, pretty much the only one said that. I had an old one, and I'm like, I found another one, I'm like, well, if I lost this one, might as well get another one, why the hell not? It's, it used to be a keychain, but... I scissored it. Oh, this one looks like something was flattening it. That's funny, you can't tell though, probably. Next is this, I, uh, I don't actually know what brand this is, Pikachu plush. <laughs> it wasn't featured in any of my friends. First plush video that's really garbage. <laughs> oh, here's another one. Is this older but looks somehow newer in some ways? Hatless Mario. Yay, there's gonna be again, there's gonna be a lot of those. Actually that might just be it. Oh wait, no. Ugh. This was the best freaking thing I ever got since it's actually good. I have this and the only one of this that I have. Super GE animations or just GE Super Sonic plush. Oh! Next up here is this classic Sonic. Big, medium, kind of like this one, but a bit bigger. Uh, classic Sonic plush. This was actually the first Sonic plush I ever got. Screw you, Mario. Uh, he's got some weird yellow. <laughs> it's not pee, it's just this weird goo I had. It's, um, yeah, I think it came with a blanket. It's interesting. Oh, oh, here's this, the main green man. Not main, actually. Uh, this Luigi who has his hat, but it can come off. There we go. I, I, I don't know why. I just did that a lot to my plushes. In fact, I have done something to my brother's Luigi that he didn't care about when he got older. I don't know why I did this. I cut his nose and mustache off. I thought it was the funniest thing as a kid. Oh! Oh gosh. Oh, here's another one. Ugh. This is, um, freaking cat thing? I don't know. I forgot its name. From Yokai Watch. Again. Only on Cartoon Network! No way, that wasn't Cartoon Network. Oh well, it's still good. 
So we're gonna let the saving the best for not last. There's this Tommy Modern Sonic with his finger pointing at you or at his crotch. Whatever you prefer. I don't prefer that. Next, these are actually like really recent. I think I got this like last two weeks. I don't know. Three, four. Uh, non hatless, actually good Mario plush. Yes, I said these, which means. Boom! Luigi. Now, since I'm older, I bought these with my own money. Take that, mom! Oh god, and this thing I got for, I completely remember, $5 on, I think it was Walmart.com or something, maybe it was Amazon, it might have been Amazon. Broken ass knuckles plush. Look at his feet, let me get a bit closer. You can see a hole there, and a, in his head. Uh, add stitching on the arm. I still, I don't have a replacement, this is the only one I have of Knuckles. Okay. Here is, um, a boo from Mario. Oh, it's got a hole in there, too. Uh, it's pretty dirty. I mean, white doesn't stick, except for this guy, because I never used him that much. Okay. There's this, uh, Jazzware Shadow the Hedgehog plush, and, um, you can sort of kind of see that sewn back up. It's, I don't know why I was, when I was younger I was sleeping with it, so I was really wrong. And uh, the next morning, its whole freaking thing was open and was filled with stuffing. For like a whole two years I never got it patched up until recently. <laughs> and my favorite one I got actually recently, it came with the Yoshi but I unstitched it. It's not my favorite anymore though because I got the new Mario. Mario! The small one that was patched on a Yoshi and it's at come on. Oh my gosh. Great. There it used to be. Here's the same kind of story. There's the Yoshi. The only one I have. You can sort of uh you can sort of kind of tell that it was stitched on. I mean look at that. You can even see the stitching parts where he had to reach close to his head to squeeze his skull. Something like that. Uh, next we have Blue Toad from Mario, I guess. I don't know. What else is he gonna be from? This is, um, not like these two. These aren't New Super Mario Bros. These other Mario movies aren't either. So that's a thing. Oh! Ah, this one's was my favorite. He's fat! This is my favorite power-up from this game. It's Super Mario 3D Land. Not the Super Mario Bros. Super Show. It's Tanuki Mario. Don't worry. And actually, there's nothing else. It's, it's really plump. Kinda. There's no way to fix that, I don't think. With this design choice. I mean, if it's further back, it looks less weird. Than this pale thing. Oh, here we go. This is dirty because I threw it on the ground. It's outside. Oh, what is wrapping? Um, Shy Guy. You guys should probably clean it. You can see it looks like it's got a bubble splash or something. Maybe it looks like someone just threw orange juice or any kind of drink at its face and just left it. I didn't even bother to clean it up. Oh. Now here's a uh, Jazzware Sonic clip. As all of my Jazzwares figures, something's got to be wrong with it. His hands came unstitched. It was the most used. I had another one, and there's a great story of that one. He, um, turned into, like, more of a, oh, like that. It was, like, squished, like, as if his hands, or his face was getting closed by an elevator door. Just, like, oh, something like that. Uh, and eventually, since I was a stupid kid, I put his hand, foot, on a leash, but then a friend accidentally stepped on his head, and his foot teared off. Oh, and yeah, this one, I colored his eyes with black mark, and never was able to wash it out, no matter how hard I tried. This one is not my favorite anymore. I mean, they got the spikes right now, or spines. That's good. This is the last video game character, unless I'm mistaken. Oh, wait, yeah, I am. Uh, 
Kirby. No, Kirby, not Kirby. From this Kirby. Oh, I should have read these tags. Doesn't say the date, but it does say. Little buddy. You aren't my little buddy. Oh, well, there he goes. I'm not picking that up. Okay, oh well. Oh, I'm just wearing one of my wings. Oh, you also had sticky stuff. I threw them in the snow. Regrettably. Oh, that was just some hair. Now, all these, um, you know, not her. I don't, I don't know. I might as well show these off for a minute. I still have the uh, tags for the uh, Mario and Luigi illustrator. I have the Japanese logo. And if you're wondering, I know where I got these ones. Um, I'll say where I got them in a minute. Um, but the Mario, the Mario and Luigi found at GameStop, because that's where you go. Oh, and here's one of the Mario's hats. Put on Kirby. Now these ones, this was my favorite TV show. No, it is my favorite TV show. Not was. It is. Oh, actually, this is a bad one to start with. I'm gonna start strong. SpongeBob SquarePants. This is the first one I ever got. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Um, he used to have a Band-Aid here, which, because his leg just kind of, oof, and came off. But, just kind of, all his stuffing has just gone into one specific part, so you can just shake him. And then he'll look like this. But you can fix it. By flattening his face out, and then, there you go. Still sort of weird. You know, put fixed those tapes so there's not a dirty black band-aid. Ugh. Now it won't be any longer. Pajama Bob Pat's Pants. That made sense. Many sense. Look, look at his Sam's Undertale slippers. Slippers, I meant slippers, not flippers. Okay, you get the idea. Now this one. Hi. The Unity. Uh oh, rated E for no one. Couldn't think of anything on the spot. Oof. This is a Viking. I think it was from that Lost in Time, whatever it was called, episode. SpongeBob. I used to do this as a kid. Shove his pants like this. Just shove it up like this because it's felt not just stuck on. You can do that. And you used to think, oh, he's floating like that episode where his pants are big. But no, that's it's not. I don't know. Every time I look at this, though, I see this crooked arm. It's made like this. Like, I feel like it had a sword or something? I don't know. I, I haven't looked it up still, like an idiot. Oh great, another flawed one. Oh, this one's flawed too. I picked his arms off so he can touch people. Maybe he's creepy. Never mind. Um, this is uh, an Easter egg Spongebob. Can't really tell, but it came out in Easter, so that's how I can tell. And there's the flaw. It's tied. He has the same problem as DK Donkey Kong, or just Donkey Kong. But he's a round boy, so he can roll. Another flawed one, because I'm an idiot when I was, or I was an idiot, you know, I'm still an idiot. When I was a kid, this is supposed to be an angel Spongebob, but I chopped his wings off and made him just Spongebob looking extremely happy. Great job, me. You're an idiot. This one is probably the coolest one that I barely use because it's just cool to look at. This is, I, uh, I don't remember the name, unfortunately. This is the superhero Spongebob, his original OC. His blue out, nice blue cape. Oh, and you can tell it's good because, oh, it's the better version of Nickelodeon than the bad 2019 memes. Ugh. What happened? This was 2008. It's good stuff. Now that I'm looking at the footage, I can just see how closer to the screen these are getting, as if they inch closer to you. It's scary. Anyways, this is uh, actually a more recent one. This is actually, oh, oh, well, 2016, but still, who cares? 
Spongebob, I remember the name. Nice. Unibrow. Mm. Nothing uni about it. Now this is a good one. A good story for this. I was younger and I had one like this, but space was more like this, not like a freaking sticker you can always peel off. Uh, there was a hanger, and you can see this has a hole in it. And the one I had, I threw it up in this air. That's what I used to do with my brush. I just threw them in the air. One, but so we had like this, I don't know what to call it, this thing on our roof. And it, I just nailed it straight in there. Oh no. Oh! He's hanging on the edge. Can't tell. But he is. Anyways, um, and I threw it in there. And only like pretty recently, like two years ago, found it up there and it was dirty and I went, ooh! My friend replaced it with this one. Only also recently. This one is also 20, well, 14. Ooh, I don't know about that year. Um, this one likes his, his, his plankton. Sheldon J. Plankton. Nice pink eyeball sticker. This one likes to do this with its ears, if I'm not, like, look at that. They're not ears in the time. Whatever you want to call it. Oh, this is no floss, luckily. It's like, ooh. This is... Spongebob with his nerd glasses. Ha! Eight eyes! Ha ha! Oh, sorry about that. He's got long pants. So that episode that came out, I don't know, last year, whenever it was, Spongebob long pants doesn't really, really stick anymore. They already did this back in 2014. Oh wait, that's the wrong thing. Whatever it was, you can't see anymore. I tried to take it off. Some more characters in our Spongebob. Mary! Oh, it has a- it actually has his tag. So I didn't care about him. This was- Woo! Wait, that's not-